You are resolute, but I suppose you wouldn't have summoned Kanan were you weaker of will. He's reversing time again. This is getting old fast. Time is infinite, but yours is at an end. <laughs> What's this? Why did the art fade? Move. No! So be it. I'm staying where I am! Cause Luger is my... You only get one life. Don't waste it. Ah, Beasley Bakur. There's a secret to entering Canaan, and I possess it. Correct. You presume much. I should tell you, we acquired the final way marker of Canaan, the ultimate chromatis bearer, in a fractured dimension. So in this world, it still very much exists. What the? Beasley has a chromatis too? Maybe you can beat the key of Kresnik alone. But can you handle the both of us? Beasley! What's your game? I confess, a duel such as that would be challenging. One on one is better. I agree. Oh, dang! Reported. So little power left, and he risks it all. Beasley, when you said you knew the way into Canaan, did you mean it? Yes. I don't want to go. Who needs the land of Canaan? I bet you it's dumb anyway. <sighs> but you wanted to go there. You know we need to. How else are we going to eliminate the fractured dimensions if we don't? Do what you want. Go to Canaan for all I care. Just leave Luger and me out of it. No need to get worked up. We made a promise to go to Canaan together. But that promise was dumb. It doesn't matter. It does matter. about one thing. Luger, you don't require the Chromatis anymore. Outlived his usefulness? No. He has simply fulfilled his duty to my full satisfaction. Our family spent eons dreaming of this day, and now, thanks to him, it's arrived. Luger, I want you to know that I'm proud of you. I gotta go after L. Like, seriously? <laughs> now I see why Julius worried about you so. Go to her, then what? Lest you forget, if you use the chromatis to fix things, she'll transform into a divergence catalyst. <laughs> Don't worry about the girl. One of my staff will keep an eye on her. You know... She probably just needs some time alone, Luger. Now then, how exactly do we enter Kanan? I'll explain back at HQ. Mm. No need to feel anxious. Kanan's not going anywhere. I would never let it. There's something off with him. It just gets more and more off with him. Just saying, being a head of a, of a corporation does not make a pro tech. I mean, 
Head to Spirits Corporation. Okay, then. Head back to HQ. Don't worry. She'll take proper care of Elle. Is Elle around here somewhere? Oh, there's something around here. Cool. Ooh, Olympian Treasure Hunter too. Got a nice little thingy thing. That's pretty cool. Do I not get to see L at all? Did she go away? <sighs> that sucks. Honestly, it, it gets me every time when L like starts crying or something. Cause it's just like, God dang it, dude. She's just a good character. She's she's actually written pretty well, in as far as I'm concerned. <sighs> All right then. Guess it's time to go back to the corporation. Cannot travel to the, to the world map this time. Okay. So there's one in Marksburg and there's one at the corporation. Oh yeah, it's right over that way. Okay then. Oh, also, in case you didn't notice, I have a new running animation. I think it's pretty sweet. Just do a little, little, little thing. See, look, oh, that's all. Oh, then do it. I lost too much momentum. All right. Yeah, I just have to go on the station. Look who's returned. Go ahead. Tell me what it is you want. Don't make Luger disappear. Please. That's one wish I cannot grant. Not without your help. You'll need to obey my orders right down to the letter. What say you? Yes. Then we have a deal. I'm doing the right thing, Luger. After all, I'm just a fake. This poor girl. Oh my god, she's she's gonna betray us. For all the wrong reasons. Damn it. Don't worry, Rolo. Elle will come back to you. As soon as she gets hungry, I'm sure. I wonder if that's really true. I'm sure it is. This is just her being a willful child. No. Luger will be questioning himself. Luger, listen. Yes. I would imagine that's the primary reason. Mila... However, El had managed to overcome her fear and sorrow for as long as we've been traveling together. Her soul is old beyond her years. I have no doubt that she understands why you had to fight her father. Thanks. If that's true, then El will return of her own volition. What's the problem? The problem is that despite understanding that, she chose to run off by herself. I suspect Luger realizes what that might mean. Yeah. Still, Elle will come back, right? Oh, the whole entire thing just isn't as peppy as it would be if Elle was here. Man. Are we really doing the right thing here? I don't know. And until we truly understand what's happening, we have no choice but to follow Bakura's lead. Absolutely no choice. You want us to just forget about his debt? What kind of sob story did he feed you anyway? Mr. President, something really is wrong with Luger. Of course. Something is always wrong with people who need that kind of money. The guy even has a terrorist in his family. That's not true. Luger and Julius are... <sighs> if you can't do your job, then I'd be happy to accept your resignation. 
There's no room for bleeding hearts in the banking business, my dear. <laughs> that stupid loan. Yeah, thanks for trying to help, seriously. It's okay. It just burns me up to hear him talk about you and Julius that way. It would seem this money is a source of unhappiness for her. Why not just pay her back? We have to wait until Elle returns anyway. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Chapter 13, the end. I've been considering launching a line of Maxwell dumplings to compete with those Gaius dumplings. They'd be made of chili peppers, soft gelatin, chicken liver, and potatoes. A taste of all four elements in every bite. <laughs> Marketing plan <laughs> section two. Tendencies in the naivete of Rize Maxians and how to deal with them. Luger, this isn't about deceiving anyone. It's just sound business analysis. And who knows the two countries better than I? I'm not supposed to do this. But I'll let you in on one of the rules of a pro pinkist. The only milk we can drink is strawberry milk. <clears throat> Your hairstyle is quite fashionable. Though I couldn't help but notice the patches of white hair. Here, I'll let you borrow my touch-up dye. <laughs> what, is, what is... Why were they all talking to me like this? Uh, well, at least we gotta make a payment to her thing. So that usually means... Now we have various other little places we could go. Uh, we could go Calpa, we could go Loranda. Um, so, considering that we're already at the town for one of them, uh, let me just look at the town map. Wow, seriously. Alright, looks like we got more Gaius problems going on ahead. So let's go see what Gaius is up to this time. Our little cowboy. <laughs> I actually really like him in the cowboy hat. I feel that fits him entirely. You can't convince me otherwise that Gaius would not wear a, a cowboy hat. I think he would find it the most niftiest thing ever. And no one would be able to convince him to take it off. Until like he overhears like like Wingle or something. Like mention how stupid the hat looks on him. But like, you know, not to his face. Like Gaius just hears it and he's like, oh. <laughs> and Gaius gets all sad. Yes. That's my head cannon. Aside from that, Mr. Gaius, what do you have for us today? Gaius Chapter 3 The Sights of Riza Maxia. I'm glad you dropped by. Can I play too? I saw you come in here, and I just hate being left out. You made it! Perfect timing! What are you all doing here? Are you saying we're not welcome? Only Erston is good enough to join your little club? Whatever. Okay then, everyone ready? I got a big announcement. We're all going on a trip to Riza Maxia! What? I've always wanted to see Fenmont. Count me out. What? Come now. <laughs> no point in refusing when he gets like this. He'll break. It'll happen. Yes, but... Fenmont... What, is Fenmont lame or something? Erston's not a fan of crowds. Isn't that right? Why are you doing <laughs> this? <laughs> well, what about that something or other Deepwood, then? The Sapstrap Deepwood? Yeah, that place. I saw it in the brochure. It's like one gigantic forest. And we don't exactly have one here in Olympias. Hmm. The brochure said it's a great place to escape the bustle. Sounds right up your alley. The Sapstrath Deepwood. Great, it's agreed. Hey, I haven't agreed to anything. You cool with that, Luger? <laughs> then let's get moving. I didn't say anything. Okay, then. All right, I guess we're going to the, the Zastroth thing. But first, let's go ahead, change characters for this. 
We'll have Leia be a part of this little adventure this time. Just to have her here. Alright. Should be a simple little, little travel. Yay! Yeah. This is a forest. Riza Maxia is freaking amazing! This path runs straight through it, but it's not exactly a walk in the park. <laughs> we'll be fine. But, you know, we'll let you handle the monsters. Okay, so we're just gonna stroll around here? Okay, then. Whoa. This is a real forest. Yes, it is. <laughs> Those children have become quite enamored with you. Is that so? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a fine opportunity to introduce Olympians to the highlights of Riza Maxian culture. I'm hardly an expert at that sort of promotion, but I suppose there is value in these sorts of cultural exchanges. Luger, what aspects of Riza Maxia interest you? The local delicacies, of course. It's political situation. Not nah, delicacies, delicacies. The local delicacies. Well, there's supposed to be a very unique mushroom that grows right here in the Sapstrath Deepwood. Oh, I know. Smoke shrooms. Why don't you whip up a smoke shroom dish for us? It'll be just like camping together. If you like. However, you must commit to finishing your meal. Wasting food is wasting life, and will be punished accordingly. Article 2 of Riza Maxia's Constitution. You put what? that in the Constitution? <laughs> that was a joke, of course. But it is a custom of Ajul, where I was born. Unlike the bountiful land around you now, the environment that surrounds Ajul is harsh and unforgiving. Rize Maxia may be rich in nature, but I suppose it's all the more dangerous for it. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Alright then, I guess we're just gonna follow all these kids then. Just go around the situation. This is kind of cool, they kind of make a, a nice little use of this dungeon. And I pretty much just use all them popsicles. Well then. I have been here before, though, as you can tell with the little cat markers right there. But I bet you anything that we actually go to um, this little spot here. We'll, we'll, we'll see what, what that little cat is up to. So those people over here, too, right? I think they should still be here. Or they're... No, no, they're here. It takes a lot of time to make natural herbs. So we don't have to any stock in right now. Come visit us again when you can. The herbs out on the market today are fakes, made artificially. Only ours were made by nature. They're so much more effective. And there's like a cat around here too that you go get. The but, monsters yeah. here are scary too. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. The monsters are scary too. Maybe we just have to get into a fight. I don't know. We'll see what this happens. What, 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 what is kings? Either way, we shouldn't have to like really worry about too much of like how much damage they actually do here. Because this is like like we already know what he's doing here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, look at that! That was a special little, little thing. That was some impressive swordplay. Thanks. I must become strong. Okay, then. Hiya, Nande! Why is there so many like that? Ugh. Fine, whatever. I guess we go down this way, right? And I'm guessing that we just kind of like roam around here until they're like, Ah, there's a monster over there! They got provoked or something! It's got to be the case, right? That's that's got to be the whole situation. Give me that. Thank you. Till then, let's just go in and grab as many burbs and such as we can. It's always important that we do. 
Da, 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 da. Yeah, I just don't know which way to go. Do we just go through this whole entire little, little dungeon area? Is that what we're supposed to do? I mean, that's the only thing I can imagine that we're doing. Get away from me. And what do we have up here? Is there... Yes, there is. Well, I got back attacked. Okay, I guess we could, like, try to take it on. We'll get strong against gun. I'm gonna try to, like, take this on, because if you're able to actually, like, beat these things in under two minutes, this is what you should be doing, uh, you could do other stuff. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, like, really doing good. Yeah, I'm not. Um... What if we just kind of like exit out of this? How do I exit out? We're gonna actually just run away from it. Because we can do it, but we can't do it under uh, two minutes. And it's better that we just wait on the, these kind of things. Because it involves a missing title, and I'd rather just not deal with that right now. But eh, whatever. I could do it later. Woo! Really cool. Okay. Good. Good stuff. Yes, that's what Okay, so where should I be going? It ain't over that way. I just I guess I just need to find a way to get through this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang it, I didn't want to fight these things. Come on, get out of here. There we go. How did I not get that one? How did this little guy get missing? <laughs> Is that all? Just, just, just say it, really. Alright. Just gotta get those little things. That's what it is. How did I miss that? It's weird how it just kind of, like, does that to me every time. I swear to you, it happened to me all the time when I was, like, looking through here because, like, getting the cast is very annoying at times. So, um, this is probably the dungeon that I spent the most time in, and yet I still don't know all the places that to go to. Because it's just that confusing. Alright, cool. We got Gaius going. I just really like these little, little cinematics and whatnot. They're really cool. It does a lot of damage, too. A lot of good damage. Good. Now, where the heck can I go? -y? should be a place. There should be a little, little area. On top of that, I probably should be playing as Gaius, huh? Let's do that before we, like, leave. You know? That way, um, if we get into some sort of boss battle, we can do things. Try heading uh, further into this, the little woods. Okay. That's all I gotta be doing. Just head further into the woods. You got it, brah. Now that we're Gaius, we have cowboy hat on us all the time, every day. There we go. And then we go through little, this little thing. See, we're doing it. We're figuring it out along our way, even though we have to, like, keep rechecking where we're going. Alright. Hmm. Why does this have to be, like, so much? So many places to go in this little stupid area. And they're all super small too, which doesn't make any sense how I just keep getting confused by this. But every little thing, I just get super confused. <sighs> cool. A nice little save. We'll save. It'll be good to save. Mm -hmm. Whoa, hold up a second. Look at this place. Why don't we take a break to sightsee? Very well. Yes! Hey, Urston! Yeah, why not go have some fun with them? <laughs> when I was a child, 
They called me the Ajulian Monkey. I made a game out of climbing trees to pick cherries. I'd throw them at my sister, Carla. Wait. Notice them too? I did. Monsters, planning an ambush. Let's take care of them. Right around here. Yes. Here they come. This big old thing. Make sure to keep quiet so we're not spotted. Come on, do the thing. Hi. Just do this little, little fiery thing. Oh, what the, where am I? I'm fighting Leia, apparently. I did not know. Alright, this is fine. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Nice little thing going. Like, Gaius honestly plays so differently. Like, in comparison to everybody else, because he just kind of, like, waits on his attacks. And he hits hard. He hits like a truck, but, like, he really do not go fast. So, thankfully, it does give me time to actually, like, realize what I'm doing and such, but still. God dang, dude. Was this wow. what you hoped for? Don't ask me. Like, that was a really good combo, man. We, we got a lot. Hoo -hoo -hoo. This is the result of my hard work. Heck yeah! Hey, where'd they go? I don't know, but now's our chance. Where were you guys? Just attending to a little business, as Erston might say. Where'd Kyle go? What's up, Biggie? Big E? We're all pretty tight now, yeah? I mean, you're pretty cool, even for an older dude. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Lighten up, Big E. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna dig this. What's that? It's a camera. You do know what a camera is, right? We all pooled our money for it. Oh, a present? <clears throat> it was Kyle's idea. Tanner helped pick it out, though. Isn't that thoughtful? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Tanner, scoot right. Perfect. Be right there. You're part of the gang now, Biggie. Don't you forget that. <laughs> Stupid little thing. Well, we better head back soon, shall we? Wait, wait. Can we make a quick stop at Marksburg? A new GHS model just came out. I gotta get my hands on one. What do you say, Big E? Come on. If you must. <laughs> He's got his own new gang. He's got his own little gang. That's kind of cute. Like all his peeps are gone, with his bodyguards and whatnot. But now he has this little thing going on. Oh my god. <sighs> but. Aside from that, hmm, I wonder, is this the end of Guys' like, chapters, or, or what exactly? That was. Because I recall, like, a lot of the characters not having, like, six chapters. Like, there's certain characters that do have six chapters. God dang it, stop back attacking me. It's rude, I'm trying to explain things here. But I don't know which ones have it and which ones don't have it. Cause oh dang. That was, that was a pop. Man, those extra arts, they really help. They really do. God dang it. Stop hurting me. Ugh. I guess we just yeah, head to Marksburg on your way back. I just gotta go to Marksburg. It's it's fine. It's whatever. Okay, I'm gonna run in. I'll be back in a flash. You guys sit tight on the Olympia side, okay? Oh man, I'm dead on my feet. Let's say we grab a bite at the inn and head home when Kyle gets back. <laughs> I take it your silence means heck yeah? 
Heck yeah! You sure he's taking his time? How long is Kyle gonna keep us waiting here? <clears throat> Don't pout. You're the one who said it was okay. Like cool to <laughs> Yeah, maybe you should have gone with him. Knowing Kyle, I should have anticipated this. I'm sick of hanging around. I'll go get him. <sighs> What's that about? They said something about a soldier getting killed. What's going on? Jeez, took you long enough. Where have you been? Kyle? <sighs> What's wrong? N nothing. I'm fine. Sorry I'm late. Let's go. They said someone murdered a Rizamaxian soldier. Apparently the killer's still on the loose. I heard they were looking for a young male. They think he's still hiding in the city somewhere. We've always had friction with folks from the other side here in Marksburg, but there's never been a murder, you know? If the killer turns out to be Olympian, this could turn into an international incident. Yeah, a murderer's bad enough, but that would take it to a whole nother horrible level. Someone killed a soldier? Everyone seems to be freaking out. <laughs> well, well. They asked me to come all the way to Marksburg to help with the investigation, and who do I run into? Pretty big coincidence, huh? Pretty, pretty big. Herschel. Did you need something? And look who's with him. My, but you've all gotten chummy with each other. That's none of your business. Go home. Ah, but I've only just gotten here. And seeing you lot certainly adds some credence to my working theory. Kyle, you killed that Riza Maxian soldier, didn't you? And I will see you arrested for it. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've had your fun. Stop hassling us. Huh. Oh, and I know you raised a hand to one of my men earlier. I don't have any proof, but I certainly don't intend to let that slide. What a creep. Let's just get the hell back to Triglef already. Kyle, it wasn't you, was it? How could you even ask me that? Even Big E's not on my side now? Tanner's right. Let's blow this joint. What did you learn? Gaius? That guy? The king of Riza Maxia? Interesting. Very interesting. Gaius, chapter three. The end. Okay, so it's just the third chapter then. Hmm. Well then. That's certainly not looking good. The land of Canaan has appeared in the sky. I cannot say I anticipated that. It was there, but it wasn't. Origin must have used the power of the void to seal it away. So that's the single place among all dimensions where the cycle of reincarnation occurs. Then I guess that would make it the Prime Dimension's Divergence Catalyst. It looks like there's an embryo inside of it. Is that the Great Spirit Origin? No, that is the Soul Purification System itself. Origin should be found within it. Why does it look like a baby? That's a fine question. I suppose we'll have to ask Origin. Well, I'm just relieved that we won't be fighting it. We will, if we must. You must be joking. Do not worry. I fully understand its significance. We will not destroy it. He's confident we could beat it. <laughs> I guess we should be thankful these two are on our side. I guess. All right. So where's the next little area that we need to go to? The only reason Maxia now. I guess we can go to Kambara. Kambare? Or we can go do this one, which I'm pretty sure is Jude's one. 
It's either Jude or Laius, so... You know what? I think it's Laius. Let's, let's do this. Well, freaking, of course, right? Of course, I picked the other side and it's over here. Gar, gar, gar. Had to be over this way. Alright. Oh, it's Elise. Not something that I expected, but okay. Alright, so Elise. Who do we want as our our main? Well, Elise will be here. And... We'll have Alvin with us as well. And... Everybody else should be filling something. Oh, Rowan is, I think, the other person that, that fits in it. Alright, let's talk to you, Elise. Let's see what your story's up to. Elise, Chapter 3. Unrequainted Sentiment. Hey! Did you hear the big news? The Chancellor of Olympias is here in Lorand. What's she doing visiting Loran? She's on a goodwill tour of the realm to interact with the Rize Maxian gentry. And pig out on tasty food, I hope! If she gets a taste of Warwick's cooking, she'll never want to leave. Now speak of the devil. We've got an emergency! The Chancellor's group has been attacked! What? If only Sonya had stayed at the lodge. Warwick, calm down and tell me exactly what happened. The Chancellor had planned to eat at the lodge, but then a group of Olympians burst in and grabbed her. They spirited the Chancellor away and said they'd kill her if we didn't meet their demands. Exodus is behind the attack. They're demanding freedom for members captured in the Paloon incident. Why won't they just give up already? We have to save the Chancellor. We spotted them fleeing into the old Vakal mine. We're in a race against time here. Isn't this supposed to be like Elise's thing? Yeah, um, that's kind of weird that Elise is the one that, that has the story. But okay then. <laughs> Maybe they, they get a little, little thing. Alright then. Everything should be fine, right? <laughs> 